So I'm going to take you back to Dachel one more time and just tell me how you felt as a Jew walking into that camp, seeing the devastation of your own people. Well, first of all, we didn't know there were Jews because we never heard the concentration camp. We had nothing about this happening anywhere. Even at Kristallnacht, what was years was already gone, and we knew about that, and we knew about Jews being hurt or hurt, but we never heard a concentration camp. And to see these people, and I said, Ich Juden, I'm Jewish, and they, they, they answered me. I couldn't believe it. Of course, we also came across non-Jews who were in that camp, and the priest showed us that. There were gypsies there, there were, but these were, they were all the same kind of people. They were all starving, they were all haggard, hardly could walk. The ones that could walk, we sent back. And it was just an unbelievable experience all the way through. What made you tell them that you're a Jew? You know, there was a fella in the outfit who spoke Yiddish or Jewish, and when he spoke and they answered him, then I realized that there were Jews here. Because you spoke Yiddish? No. You understood Yiddish? No. So I but you was, recognized it? Yes, yes. Did you walk into a gas chamber and was there anything inside, any bodies still inside? No, we passed the gas chamber. We didn't go into it, no. We passed the gas chamber. We just saw the bodies stacked up there and it was, uh, it was, a, mach it was, it was a factory. It was a factory. Bodies just stacked up as high as the ceiling, just right in the, in the crematoriums. Were there any Germans left to, to, to round up? We didn't see any because we wouldn't take any prisoners. The Germans who uh, tried to infiltrate with the prisoners by wearing the same haggard clothing were recognized by the prisoners and they were killed by the prisoners. So we never saw, we never, at that particular time, I didn't see any prisoners, any Germans at that time. It was later on we saw them. How did the prisoners have enough strength to kill the Germans who were disguising themselves as prisoners? Well, the ones who could, who, I mean, there were, there were thousands of, of men there. I mean, some of them were still strong enough to do this. You know, there, uh, there were, I forget, 10, 10 15,000 people in that camp. So the ones who were strong enough, they did this to the, to the, the guards. Did you witness that yourself? No. How long were you there? We were there maybe seven, eight hours, I guess. Then we went on. Some of our, some of our guys stayed and, and guarded prisoners. I was told later. I was on my way home. So you went right back to America after that seven or eight hour stint in Dublin? No, we, we worked our way back, you know, to England and from England home. So, uh, you know, well, 60 some years ago, you really have to think about stuff like that because I didn't remember even even going home. I knew I was home. I know I met my, my kid sister was 15. He was, she was now 18, young lady. Uh, we got, I got off the, uh, the subway, came up the subway steps. There they were waiting for me on Broad Street, which is unbelievable. And when you got home, did you say, Mom, Dad, Sis, you're not going to believe what I saw over there, or was did they ask you? You know, they really didn't. My brother was in the other side. He just, he was a cryptographer. He saw no action at all. He saw no combat. But he wrote to me. He used to tell me uh, horror stories like the Coke machine broke down, no no Coke for for a week, and I'm in a foxhole reading his letter, or the swimming pool is being cleaned tomorrow and I can't swim for a day or two, and it's funny. I'm in a foxhole. He's having a good life out there, over there. But not, not really. Uh, my dad and mother were both involved in World War I. Uh, mother was in the an ambulance. She was at the Red Cross. My dad was in the Air Force. He wasn't a pilot, but the mechanic in the Air Force. So they had a pretty good idea, I guess, as to what I was up against at that particular time.